<coughs> okay, guys, um, let's do this um, analysis of oxidation numbers, okay? So, uh, the first thing you want to know is that for ions, like these two compounds are, or these two particles are, um, the overall thing, the overall particle, is charge is equal to the charge that's shown on the ion. Okay, so overall it will equal negative one. So oxygen, when it's combined with something, like what we said in class and what your notes say, um, is always negative two. Okay, so the real question here is what is the oxidation state of nitrogen? Okay, how many oxygens do we have? We've got, two, excuse me, two of them. Okay. And X is going to be the oxidation state of nitrogen. Okay. I could do the other way too, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's easier to do it that way because I set it equal to negative one. I mean, actually, I usually do equations opposite, where I put what's equivalent to it first, you know? But anyway, so let's just uh, algebraically manipulate this. So we're figuring out what x is, right? So x minus four, because two minus two is minus four, equals minus one. And then when we pull that over, or we add 4 to both sides, right? 4 minus 4 is 0. Minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3. So the oxidation state of nitrogen in this compound is plus 3. If you're doing it anything, any other way, you're making it way harder than what it has to be. Okay? So overall, this thing, negatively one charged. Oxygen's in it, right? So that, those oxygens have a minus two charge. There's three of them, right? Add that to whatever N is. Okay? <coughs> So now what do we do? X minus 6 equals minus 1. Add 6 to both sides. X or N equals plus 5. is when people start coming and seeing me too. And as you can see, today's the first day I really have had people come and see me this time. You'll see if you go look at the videos how many more there are now until whenever, but before that. Because people are like, blow, every class is a blow off until this class, you know? And people think that it's going to be a blow off until the end of the first test and then the beginning of the second test, you know? So yeah, but it's easier when I tell you how to do it, right? Yeah. What about now? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you, you got to know algebra before you come and do this class. You know, that's the thing. That's what I find most people are struggling with, is that they're, you know, they're... Whoever, that's why the, one of the first questions I ask you on your um, quiz one is, who taught you algebra and what grade did you get in it? You know, so I'll know who's a good algebra teacher and who just gives grades. You know what I'm saying? And it's a very fast-paced course, yeah. <coughs> Uh, are we cool with this? Are there any questions? Can I cancel it out or shut it off? <laughs>